Welcome to the Creative Pugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a vintage travel poster in Affinity Photo. A lot of these posters were illustrations. So what we're going to do is take this image and add an illustrative look to it for our travel poster. First, go to File, New. Go to Print and select the A4 document size. Next, grab the Rectangular tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle that covers the document. Go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the Fill color to bring up the color chooser. Set the color of the rectangle to the following hex code number, F9C83A. Now go to File, Open, and select the image you downloaded. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select the Brightness Contrast Adjustment. Set the brightness to 30% and the contrast to negative 10%. After that, click the Adjustments icon again. Select the Curves Adjustment. Click and add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it up some. In the Layers panel, select the background layer and the two adjustment layers. Then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge the layers together. Now select the Merge layer. Copy the layer and paste it onto the other document. Go to the Transform panel. Turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then grab the Move tool and resize the image the way you see it on the screen. Place the image in the center of the document. Now click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Posterize Adjustment. This filter will allow us to add the illustration look to the image. The Posterize filter lets you control the number of colored areas produced in the image. Set the Posterize level to 5. Once you've done that, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the context toolbar, set the mode to add and check the snap to edges box. Then take the tool and make a selection of the sky. Don't forget to get the areas between the trees and between the man's arms. If you select an area you didn't want to select, press the Alt key and go back over the area to deselect it from the selection. Next, go to the Layers panel. Click the Adjustments icon and select the Recolor Adjustment. Set the hue to 192 degrees, saturation is 65%, and the lightness to negative 12%. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select both of the adjustment layers and drag them into the merge layer. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Click on the image down where the leaves are and type the word MEXICO in all caps. Go to the Swatches panel and set the color of the text to white. With the text still selected, go to the Font family. Set the font to Montserrat Bowl or another font of your choosing. You can find a download link to the Montserrat font in the description of this video. Center the text. Grab the Move tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text layer to the top. Type the word Visit. Go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code number 006341. Now go to the font family and set the font to Monotype Cursiva. You can find a download link to this font in the description of the video too. Place the text where you see it on the screen. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer to add a new layer. Now go to the Swatches panel and double click the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code number 6B6B6B. After that, go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color. Make sure the pixel layer we added is selected first. Next, go to the Filters menu. Select Noise, Add Noise. Set the intensity to 60%. Select Gaussian and check the monochromatic box. In the Layers panel, set the Blend Mode to Hard Light and lower the opacity to 75%. We can add one more thing to this. This part is optional. 
Select the merge layer with the adjustments in them. Now click the adjustments icon and select the gradient map adjustment. Click the green color stop and click delete by the reverse button to delete it. After that, click the reverse button to switch the blue and red color stops around. Now select the red color stop. Go to color and select the RGB hex sliders. Enter the following hex code number, FF9F00. Then click and add a point in the middle. Next, go to color and enter the following hex code number, 9B43BC. Change the blend mode to screen. Once you've done that, click the blend ranges icon beside the blend mode. In the underlying composition ranges section, slide the left point down slightly below the halfway mark. Next, click and add a point in the middle and drag it down like how you see it on the screen. Then select the point on the right and drag it down some. Lower the opacity of the layer to 90%. And this is how to create a vintage travel poster in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.